hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use polymorphism in kotlin so polymorphism is basically parent class can hold a reference of its child class and parent can call method of its child class so let's understand with this by uh, creating a class and we'll implement in the code So first thing we need to create a main function and as I said polymorphism that is uh, executed at the runtime. So polymorphism can hold the reference of its child class. So parent class can hold the reference of its child class when we are creating an object. And secondly parent class the object of parent class can call the method of the child class which is overridden or the common in both the classes like the parent class and child class have the same method name. So let's understand this by uh, creating a separate class. So I'm creating a class and giving the name as the shape. Inside this I'm creating a function that is area like this function will create the area and it will return the double so i'm giving a default value as 0.0, .0. now i'm creating a separate class for the circle and this class will be taking an input as the radius as double and it will return the it will extend the shape class now you see shape is showing an error basically we need to make this class as the open class then only we can override this class we want, uh, if you have watched the previous video then you can understand what is the role of here of the open keyword so now error is gone and we can override that area function of the shape class so now this function can return the area of circle so i'm creating pi r square so by radius into radius now uh, I'm creating a another function a square that is a class a square and that will take the input at side and it will also extend this shape class and it will override the same function area only difference is the calculation like it will figure out the uh, it will calculate the area by it multiplying the both the sides so right now i am creating a object of both the classes circle and square i am explicitly defining it so i will show you why i am doing this so circle class object is holding explicitly as the circle and square object is holding the square class object. Now I am uh, print this uh, value what this area function will return. So circle dot area it will calculate the area of circle and similarly square will calculate the area of square so simply i have created a uh, class shape open class and then i am extending two classes let's run and see what the output is so you can see first print statement is calculating the area of circle and second statement is calculating the area of square so this is just a common rule now i'll show polymorphism parent class hold the reference of its child class so now i'm changing it to the explicitly i'm defining it's the shape class so now circle is the child class and shape is the parent class so now similarly square is the child class and shape is the parent class for this now it can hold the object of child class but it will call the area function of its child class so parent class object can call the child class function let's run and see output so you can see there is no change it's still the area area function of the 
circle and square class is called with from the object of our parent class if it could call ha, call the shape class area then it could be print the zero zero and dot zero but let me create another function so this function will take the array of object an array of the child class object and inside the for loop it will print it will call area function of each object so now i call shape dot area so now let's build the array list So one one object I am adding as the circle class object, another object I am adding uh, square class object, and I am adding one more square class object now. And now we'll call this function and pass this array list. And let me comment out these two. So let's run this and it should behave as the same way like the it's a parent class should call the function of child class so let's see what it print so you can see circle area of circle then second is the area of a square and third is also the area of a square so now you can see the statement we written above is completely proven now I'm creating a, another class that is triangle class. And that will take the two parameter base and height and it will also return the extend the shape class and it will override the same function area function. It will calculate return 0.5 into base into height this is the formula of triangle now I am adding this triangle object also inside this array let me break this down into multiple lines now let's call so this will calculate so it's now calculating the circle square square and the triangle object the triangle area as well so now you see with the help of polymorphism this we can maintain the uh, code we can extend like we can extend our code by easily so we added the triangle class very easily and it was just plugged in so if we need in the like real time project we can extend we have to multiple time extend our code so there we use polymorphism so hope you understand the use of polymorphism if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like and share thank you so much for watching